to understand scaffolding, you have to really understand the zone of proximal development at the same time. So we've got student A and student B, and we want to assess whether they can ride a bike or not. Traditional forms of assessment is what they can do independently. Part of the problem with that is that the feedback we get isn't really targeted at what we can do to make a difference. Whereas if we assess what students can do with assistance, it gives us more specific feedback. So we find that student A can ride a bicycle with the assistance of uh, stabilizers. We might then find that student B can't do that and ends up in a mess on the floor. So if we think about it diagrammatically, that if the, this area represents what a student can do independently, neither student falls in here. If this area represents the zone of proximal development, it means that student A falls into this, and student B falls outside of this. This tells us we need to deal with both students differently. With student A, our question is purely what scaffolding to give them, how to remove that scaffolding gradually. So we may well start with allowing them to use stabilizers. We might then reduce the amount of stabilization that we give them, and we might introduce ourselves as a, as a form of scaffolding. So this is us running alongside. By running alongside, we can then reduce the amount of scaffolding that's given gradually until the student doesn't need us anymore, is riding independently. With student B, we're faced with a completely different challenge. Uh, grammatically, our challenge with student B is how to move the how to move riding a bike into their zone of proximal development. It's quite a different challenge from what we faced with, with student A. So think about techniques that would allow them to move into this zone. So that might need more information, they might need emotional support because it might be that they're frightened. But the point is, what we do with student B is quite different from what we do with student A. All of that information comes from assessing into the zone of proximal development, which means basically assessing what students can do with assistance as opposed to what students can do without assistance.